Hello there, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I thank the Father, Jehovah, through His Son, Yeshua, Mashiach, Jesus Christ, for His Holy Spirit, which reveals all truths and gives us power and strength and is our comforter and revealer of truths, especially in these last days of deception. Okay? I understand, my brothers and sisters, there will come a time and it's approaching. I can already see it in America with this controversy about these bathroom laws and religious beliefs. and It would be like in India. Now I'm going to make a separate video, which I should have done. India has a law, a no-conversion law, a no-conversion conver law. You cannot convert because the, um, the uh, great uh, religion in India is Hinduism. Okay? There's Hinduism and there's Christianity. They have a no conversion law in, in, in India where one who practices Hinduism, a Christian cannot convert them. That's a law. Understand in America, though, my brothers and sisters in Christ, there will come a time where we may not be able to convert. So we, with we, okay, let me go back to the law in India. It says um, we won't be able to preach Christianity, we won't be able to preach doctrines. Uh, and I'm going to give you the website that I got this from. Christianity won't be able to preach um, salvation. They won't be able to preach heaven or hell. Okay, this is what I read in this doctrine. I just says, wow, this is the time we're living in, though. You must understand, as Christ said, when the when it begins to bud, this went beyond budding, okay? Yes, we haven't gone through, like, physical wars. and it Just to be real with you, honestly, we're getting there, okay? Just to let you know, we're getting there. Hold on to these words. We're getting there as far as these wars, whatnot. But imagine in America. It will not cease to come in America. There will come a day you will not get any uploads. You won't even have a YouTube channel. At least you are worldly, or at least you are of some other religion. But as far as Christianity, your videos will indeed be scanned, examined before they are uploaded. If it speaks anything about some type of salvation or heaven or hell and conversion or uh, uh, convicting, no, they're not going to post it, okay? But the thing is, it don't shake me none. Let them do it. I'm in the streets now, okay? This just pushed me out to the streets. It's all good. But the word, the, the word of God, prophecies, and the coming of Yeshua, it has to be preached. The word has to go forth. But with that, the Lord must, he would have to give us his power in order in order to help us. Because with that, we have no power to even go out to do anything as such. To go out in the streets, to be, to be before many people, you must have the spirit of the living God abiding in you to deal with different people as far as preaching the word of God. Because they will seek your life. Though you must keep in mind that the word of God will cost you your life, but you must pray unto the Lord if this is what you want me to do. And with with praying unto the Lord and if this is what he wants you to do, and he will give you the power as he gave Elijah. And it just blew me when I was studying scriptures how close of a relationship that Elijah had with the Lord to the point where uh, 50 soldiers came looking for Elijah. 50 soldiers plus their leader came looking for Elijah, and they tried to trick him. Oh, son of God, they say. Oh, no, no, they said, oh, um, man of God, come down here. The king wants to speak with you. But then Elijah with boldness. Okay, so this is one man against 
50 plus one man. But the thing is, Elijah had God on his side. Who can shake him? Nobody. Okay? In scriptures, when 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 the leader of the soldiers the soldier said, Oh man of God, come down here. The king wants to speak to you. Elijah point blank, period. With assurance in his heart that the Lord was with him. This is what we must have in these last days. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, if you ain't dedicated to the Lord, don't go out into the streets and preach. Because the, the day you get preached, the day you go out there to preach, is the day that you will die. Okay? Set up a wheel. But Elijah was out there. He said, okay, if I be a man of God, may fire come down from heaven and destroy you and your men. Boom. Right there, my brothers and sisters, the Lord sent fire to kill all 50 men plus the leader. Thank it's a game in these last days, though. Again, after that, they sent another 50 plus one man to come to Elijah, a man of God, filled with the Holy Spirit, God walking with him. They said, oh, Elijah, come down here. He was standing on the hill, getting away from them. Cause they, because they, they was trying to, they was seeking to kill him. They said unto him, "Man of God, come down here. The king wants to see you." Elijah said again with confidence. He said, "Okay, if I am a man of God, may fire come down from heaven." The thing is, he can't do it by himself. Let's let you know that the Lord with him. He said, my fire come down from heaven and devour you and your men. Boom. Same thing happened. My brothers and sisters, in these last days, it ain't the game. We ain't playing with pity pack, pity pack, preaching in the streets. If the Lord calls you and say, Marsha, go. So-and-so, go. Hey, when he say go, fire behind you. He's with you. You goes before you and is behind you to speak to the people. The fight came down from heaven, killed 50 men plus one. Then they sent another 50 plus one to Elijah. These men were trembling because they knew what had happened to those two 50s that came to seek Elijah's, Elijah's death. They said, spare our lives if our lives seems precious unto you. That's when they respect the man of God. My brothers and sisters, people don't respect you until you live that life, until the fire of God is with you, until the power of God was with you, until their physical eyes can see his power not only working through you by taming your tongue, walking in holiness and righteousness, but by the power that the Lord gives you, supernatural. Fire coming down from heaven, just because you have spoken the word, you work with God, and you speak in truth. But you speak in falsehood, and you have miracle signs and wonders, that ain't from God. Delusion, deception. Time we're living in. Where you at with the Lord? True or false? Riding on the fence, or you dedicated? The Lord will give you power. But as I said, when they begin to shut down the YouTubes and you can't preach unless it's screened, you can't say nothing unless it's screened, then it will go out. Don't expect to hear anything from me. Me and the rest of my brothers and sisters in Christ that has understanding, that sprinkled throughout the whole world, we will be out in the streets like caterpillars coming up out of the grass through different nations, speaking the word of God for the very last time before he comes and judge the world. As the Lord said to himself, I will send Elijah before the great day, great and terrible day of the Lord. Many are seeking for a physical Elijah. The Lord didn't speak about that. The Lord speaks about his Holy Spirit that we that will be poured upon sons and daughters in these last days, servants in these last days, to speak truth, make the world make the road straight to receive him. 
the crooked path straight to receive him. We are the children, the descendants of, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The descendants of Isaac and Elijah, Elisha, Job, Ezekiel. We are the descendants of Jeremiah, King David, the descendants in righteousness, promised children. It's only repeating. If the Lord would have continued scriptures in the Bible, it would have only been a repeating. He would have looked at many of you, li- many of your lives, and select one and say, "This is a prophet." In these times, he would have spoke about your life and how you spoke to the people of the world and the condition of the world, as he did Noah, as he did Lot. If the Lord would have raised Noah and Lot in these times, they both would have said, this is the time that we lived in. The same time that you live in, Marcia, this is the same time that I lived in. Rebellion towards the Lord. Noah, our forefather, would have said the same thing. He would have said, I would have been in the ark already by this time. I would have finished the ark by this time. The animals would have been climbing into the ark by this time. This is how close we are, my brothers and sisters. But prophecy must continue to be fulfilled. It will be asking the time a lot. The people are seeking to rise against the body through all parts of the world to destroy truth. This will be asking the time of Lot. If you were to bring Lot here to this day, he would have been able to examine. He said, it brings me back. I have a flashback when I lived here on this earth. It's the same thing. That's my forefather, Lot. Forefather, Noah, same thing. As the Lord says, it will be as in the days of Lot. It will be as in the days of Noah. So as the second coming of Christ. Nothing should shut you up. Do you have the power of God? Satan cannot prevail, but you shall prevail, and you shall tread upon him as men tread upon grapes. In Jesus' name, y'all take care.